speakers. Here we go. Robert Stacy McCain. Our next speaker's motto is old school in the new media. He is a veteran journalist with more than 20 years experience in the newspaper business, including more than a decade as an editor and reporter at the Washington Times. Since leaving the Times in 2008, Robert Stacy McCain has... In addition to his blogging at The Other McCain, where he's gotten more than 2 million visitors in the past 18 months, he also blogs at Right Wing News and Hot Air's Green Room. He created the Not One Red Cent blog to protest the national GOP's interference in the Florida primary, where the NRSC endorsed Charlie Crist. Charlie Crist, compassionate conservative, not the guy you want. Charlie Crist over Marco Rubio. He created the aggregation site ntcnews.com to provide a vital headline news service to the blogosphere. He covered the 2008 presidential campaign for the American Spectator and Pajamas Media and has recently become one of the top investigative journalists covering the scandal known as IG Gate. He is the co-author of Donkey Cons, Sex, Crime, and Corruption in the Democrat Party. Democratic Party, excuse me. And has been awarded the George Washington Medal for Freedom Foundation at Valley Forge. Most important of all, he is proudly points out he is the McCain who never voted for a bailout, never voted for stimulus, never lost an election. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Stacy McCain! How y'all doing? Wasn't that a great introduction? It couldn't have been better if I wrote it myself. It's good to be in Richmond. Last time any of my folks were in Richmond, we were carrying muskets trying to keep the Yankees from overrunning you. Yeah. Sorry, that didn't work out so good. I cussed Yankees all the way from Washington down to Richmond today. They were clogging up the highway. You know, Yankees were the reason God made buses. Those people weren't born to drive, you know. Uh, down here, you know, uh, I, I don't know, there was a, a recessive gene in our blood that somehow God had put there so that one day someone would invent moonshine whiskey and fast cars. And then we had NASCAR and we rule. Anyways, how y'all doing today? All right, well, I got, I got a little news. I was coming down here. I looked at the uh, Washington uh, Post today. And uh, the headline on the cover is, Liberal and Conservative Democrats Brawl Over Bill. And they're talking about the health care plan. And when it comes over to the next page where it jumps over, it says, Health reform sparks heavy round of Democratic infighting. It's working. I'd like to thank the folks at Americans for Prosperity who uh, they're about to roll out a big TV campaign uh, to point out that if uh, you want to be like Canada, <laughs> you know, uh, the Canadian health care system uh, is a, a marvel of uh, bureaucratic uselessness. And uh, I, you know, Dr. Lewis, John Lewis, where are you over there? Uh, Dr. Lewis said a lot of good things. He said a lot of things that were right, but he said one thing that was wrong. He said, when your kids come home from school, and I said, wait a minute, you're sending your kids to school? That ain't right. Those government bureaucrats aren't there to teach them anything useful. The first lesson that a child learns when you send them to public school is, mommy and daddy don't know enough to teach you. You need a certified government expert to do the job. I don't believe that. My kids are homeschooled. One of them's sitting right there. Say hello, Bob Jr. Jim's around here somewhere. And boys, uh, they taught themselves to play guitar. It's a very useful skill. Yeah, he's, he's okay. He's, he's trying to tell me that I'm no longer the king of rock and roll. But he's taking over. Well, anyways, the topic that I wish to talk to you about today is don't get mad, get organized. Okay? It's easy when you see something on TV or something in the newspaper, hear something on the radio, it makes you angry. And you want to just sit there and cuss the way I cussed all the way down I-95 today. But you can do something about the mess that's going on in Washington. As John Lewis was telling you, 
Every time you pick up that phone and call your congressman, every time you send him an email, every time you write him a letter, every time he shows up for the 4th of July parade, and you're right there holding up your sign say, just say no to socialized medicine, it makes a difference. Never underestimate the power of the determined individual. One man with determination is an army. But there's a lot more than one of you here. I see hundreds of you here today. How many were at the 4th of July Tea Party? Yeah, let's see a big show of hands. Well, I was at a 4th of July Tea Party down in Alabama, and I told those people this. Think about the Civil Rights Movement in the 60s. They had a few simple mottos, and one of which was this. Each one, reach one. Each one, teach one. That is to say that if you've got 600 people here today, and if each one of you reaches out to another person and says, come to our next meeting, come to our next rally, come to our next protest, that's 1,200. Now, if each one of those people reaches out and finds just one friend, one neighbor, somebody you know from work, your cousin, your uncle, your aunt, and says, come on out, that's 2,400. And you multiply, and you multiply, and you multiply until you become what Glenn Reynolds of Instapundit calls an army of Davids. In other words, think of a thousand men determined not to yield. Think of those 300 Spartans at Thermopylae who held off all the armed might of the Persian Empire merely to buy time so that the Greek armies could organize behind them. They gave their lives. You know, uh, as he mentioned in my introduction, I uh, won uh, 12 years ago, I won the, free, uh, the George Washington Medal from the Freedoms Foundation at Valley Forge. I don't know how many of you have studied the American Revolution, but what's important for you to know is how close we came to defeat.